I thought before we started talking about messy families, we better talk about my little messes in my family that we have just enjoyed since day one. My favorite thing that I get to do in all the world is be a daddy. And I just thought I would tell you some stories from child rearing. I thought I'd tell you two church stories and then one at the house. My oldest daughter was nine years old. We had just moved to Tucson, Arizona. We were pastors. And everything in the Sonoran Desert is sort of open air because it sunshines 350 days a year. And so every weekend, Becky and I would leave services. And being the proud daddy that I was, I would go pick my daughter up at Sunday school. Well, we had just gotten there, hadn't been there very many weeks when my daughter wasn't there, but her Sunday school teacher was. By the way, that is never good if the Sunday school teacher's waiting on you. And she announced to me that my little angel had announced to the class about a quarter of way into it that she was tired, had stayed up too late the night before, and she would not be doing her homework. And I thought, oh, God bless you. <laughs> I know who won't be staying up late next week. But those are the, those are the simple things. The next child, if you've ever had at least two in the world, they'll pay you back for everything that you've ever done wrong in your life. She made my first one pill in comparison. We had been here just a few, a few months. Mary Blake is three years old, and, and if you remember us during those days when she was three, her mom would put her in a big frilly dress every week and a bow the size of a halo up here, okay? And she had a bow on every place that she went. Well, she was in Nancy Chance's Sunday school class. And if you don't know Nancy Chance, she's one of the cornerstones of our Christian education uh, deal here. She has been here for 30-something years as a Sunday school teacher. She's just an impeccable teacher. Apparently, one Sunday... Mary Blake, and I have to name, leave all the other names out of this story at this point, went into the Sunday school class, and one of her classmates, one of her big buddies, looked at her and said, Mary Blake, did you know that your bow doesn't match your dress? You need a new bow. Well, my daughter, since a young age, has really enjoyed alliteration. So she came up with the first word that began with a B that she could think of. And she says, is that right? I need a new bow? Well, you need a new butt. <laughs> mm. I thought, oh my goodness, you remind me so much of your mother at this point. <laughs> Just uh, one of those sweet things. 